Hey, what's up? T and Hart. And uh, so I wanted to cover a topic real quick, something that I think is very important. And as a coach, um, listening to the client's words and how they speak is extremely important because typically I can see within a few words where their mindset is at and, and, and then how it affects their life and the reason for why they are where they are in their life and in their evolution and path. And so thoughts and words literally create your reality. And so here's an example. Um, subconsciously, you get programmed by lights, sounds, and images. And so sounds are words and that they carry with it a vibration and every word sends a vibration through your body and then creates an action, right? So for example, most people are programmed to say, I need to lose weight. So when you say I need to lose weight, what happens when you lose something? Well, naturally, unconsciously, you want to find it, right? You don't lose things on purpose. So unconsciously, you're saying I need to lose weight. But deep down inside, whatever's lost needs to be found. So something like I'm, I'm getting slimmer or leaner or telling yourself every day I'm getting more healthy and fit is a different program than I'm trying to lose weight or I'm losing weight. Does that make sense? So if you tell yourself daily I'm getting in, more sh I'm getting in better shape and I'm getting healthier, um, that's programming you slow with slow words that changes how the brain looks at things and thinks. So try that. Instead of saying I need to lose weight or I need to lose anything or um, speaking in that terms, try to say day by day I'm getting X, Y, and Z. I'm getting better at eating habits. I'm getting better at being healthy. I'm getting whatever it might be. So that's just a little tidbit. Watch your words because they create your reality. Typically your thoughts, your emotions create your words and your words also carry with it a equivalent vibration to those thoughts. So watching your thoughts and your words will change the reality that you see. And so there you go. That's just one tip that will help. Hopefully, I hope it helps you in being more conscious about your thoughts, your words, and your actions.